Hey there fellow Clashers, how's it going? It's Hurley from Clash of Clans 101. This video is definitely not a few days late. Winky face, winky face. We're going to be going into the brand new update in Clash of Clans that just dropped a few days ago. And I know this is technically late, but listen, I can explain. I was going to go to Mexico a few days ago, and then the plane got canceled, the trip was canceled. So now I'm back, and I'm able to make this video. So yeah, that's a pretty quick and to the point explanation. And yes, that actually happened. So we're here. Back at my amazingly active base, winky face, winky face, it's not actually active, I don't really play Clash too, too much, but look at that, 100,000 of each resource in the collectors, that's what I like to see when I come back to my base. Not to mention, you guys, like I said, I'm not super into Clash of Clans anymore, I feel as if Supercell has slowly killed off their own game, and I will make a separate video explaining why I think that, but... Nevertheless, let's jump right into this replay of my base, my free loot base, being absolutely annihilated. That's right, completely and utterly destroyed so far within the first 20 seconds of the attack. If not less, the person has already taken 400,000 of each resource that quickly. I mean, you know... I'm a generous guy, so I was okay with giving uh, D.RVG some free loot because, you know what, I think he deserved it more than me. So just like that, he's already taken 800,000 resources from my base. Simple and easy as that. Now, 50% of the base has already been destroyed, and he's still got plenty of troops to go through my base. He's still got three spells available. The king is basically at full health, and he's got plenty of giants and pekkas and wizards to do absolute work on my base. Now, as you can see here, 73%, and they're already cruising through. Plenty of wizards down at the bottom. Tons of giants and barbarians, and not to mention the barbarian king himself, towards the middle of the base. Let's take a look at this P.E.K.K.A. I'm almost positive that they added new P.E.K.K.A. animations. Look how cool that P.E.K.K.A. looks. I think the overall graphics and animations to the P.E.K.K.A. have been revamped a little bit. I'm almost positive. I don't know if that was in an older update and I just haven't noticed yet, but I'm almost, almost positive that in this new update they did a few graphic changes to the P.E.K.K.A. And let me tell you, it looks pretty sweet. So 90%, 91% of the base is now destroyed. There's the lone cannon to defend the rest of my layout and the, the two storages. Um, <laughs> there's just the one cannon left against all these troops. I believe in the cannon, you guys. I think the cannon's going to be able to do it. The cannon has now targeted one of the troops. I always targeted the king. Is he going to be able to kill off the king before the raid ends? And no, the king holds on to just a tiny, tiny bit of health. And just like that, my base was absolutely three-starred. Almost 500,000, actually, sorry, 400,000 of each loot. Not to mention the loot bonus. This person got a very nice and easy three-star on my base. So now returning home, you already know what we got to do. We got to provide those resources for other people. So we're going to be boosting our collectors for 69 gems. That's right, 69. Not to mention, we got a request for some brand new troops. And let's not forget about the Dark Elixir drills. Now, before I get on to in this video, what are those? I mean, honestly, what are those? Who in the Supercell headquarters? Quarters was like, hey, you know what, guys, listen, instead of doing some awesome new matchmaking changes, we need to revamp the whole design of the air defenses because we already made it difficult enough to tell which level air defenses people had. Now let's make it even more difficult and let's make them look like dumb little crayons. So yes, thank you, Supercell. That was very needed and we appreciate it. So thanks so much for popping this into the update. It was much needed. Appreciate ya. Now let's move on to what actually matters, and that is the update news. Now, we're not actually going to be gemming the bowlers in this video that you're watching right now. We're actually going to be doing that in the next video, which is part two. So in part two, we're going to be spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars, tens of thousands of gems to get these brand new bowlers. Now, I'm not going to go in depth with any of this update news because, of course, you guys already know what the dealio is. The update has been out for a while, but uh, one big change that actually came was a big, big buff for the Valkyrie, and they actually just came out with a patch to nerf her today. So if you used her within the last two or three days, lucky for you because now she has been nerfed. So that's the only real change that's happened since I've uploaded this video and since the update came out. But other than that, the bowler is here, and all you guys got to do in order to see me gem hundreds of dollars and tens of thousands of gems is to check out part two, which should be right after this video. Look at this brand new base that I just made for the little gemming video that we're going to do. Look at the laboratory right there and the two Dark Elixir Barracks. Fellow Clashers, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in part two. <laughs> Seriously, though, go check out part two right now.